Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So great to be here live this morning. I wanted to share with you a little bit about this brilliance without burnout. We, we drop in some tips most weeks around different aspects of why women especially struggle with energy levels, struggle with burnout, struggle with confusion, self-doubt, right? All these things that kind of drain our resources a minute you are not showing up in your highest possible way. So I'm Rebecca Thompson. If you don't know me or are just new to this page, um, yeah, you can follow me on Rebecca Thompson Beer Beacon. That's my business page. This is my personal page where I love to share a lot of gems as well because I know we all need them. And I help women basically do what I just said, to help them be brilliant without burnout, to do what they love, show up in the highest way and have you know amazing health, great relationship with themselves and others and be able to do what they are here to do in the world and do that with less effort and more ease. Wouldn't that be nice? This is how I live my life. I've been working on this for over like 30 years and playing with this stuff. And I want to share something that came up for me today as I was uh, yeah, doing my own inner practice of are you still trying to control things but just with positive thinking, right? There are ways that we spiritually bypass, particularly in this personal development or spiritual world. And it means that we're just doing the same thing that we always used to do, but just in a slightly different way, right? So if you have just spun your normal thinking, but just into positive thinking, right? You just want to spin everything into the positive. Are you still trying to control things? And if you're still trying to control things, how do you feel when things don't go so well? Right? There is a difference between thinking positively and shifting your vibration to that which attracts what you want, which can then accompany more positive thoughts. But if we just spin something from a negative thought, a negative little like caption in your mind and spin it to something, just flip that and make it positive, then we are still in resistance to whatever it is actually going on for us. We're probably still in resistance to what that positive thought is because we may not believe it. And if our desires and our beliefs are in opposition to each other, then we won't create it anyway. We're just going to create more resistance. Right? And if we spin just to that positive thought without feeling, well, what else is going on in this body, this emotion, this, this mind, then we are just pushing that positive thought and creating more resistance and we're not actually on board energetically. So again, all we're doing is creating more resistance and then when that thing doesn't work out because we've tried to push maybe beyond what we actually believe or we've tried to push without coming on board energetically, then we get disappointed, don't we? How many times have you thought of a positive outcome but you got disappointed or you've wanted something to happen a certain way but you got disappointed or you've wanted people to behave a certain way but then you've got resentful because they didn't behave a certain way <laughs> and you've wanted it and you're like, well, I really wanted that to happen and I was thinking positively but it didn't come out that way and now, now I don't know, right? So now you keep trying and now you're in confusion because there's this um, disconnect with what you want and what's actually happening. So how do we get over that? We have to stop trying to control our environment by just thinking positively or just wanting this, you know, to be a different way and start feeling into how does the universe actually work? It works through attraction. You are what you attract. And yes, thinking and your thoughts are a part of that. But even more deep, we have to believe it. So how do we believe it? We have to become it energetically and emotionally. And the foundation for any positive thinking is a foundation of peace and calm. That is the first place before we can start to attract, you know, more, more higher vibrational things. Well, peace is pretty high vibration, right? But if we want to bring joy and attract even more abundance, we have to start with peace. We have to start with knowing ourselves as peace. We have to start with knowing ourselves as an expanded soul self that is in a state of equanimity, no matter what is going on around us. We have to have that and we have to cultivate that first. No matter what is going on in our mind, no matter what is going on in our environment, we have to know that within us and have to get really amazing at that because that is the fertile soil on which we can build a belief that we are even more than that. 
Because like I say, if we don't believe what it is we're trying to manifest, if we don't truly believe what we are positively trying to think, we are just creating more resistance. We have to believe it. And we start to believe it by cultivating this sense of peace in our body. And we need to do that physically, emotionally, and energetically. And I've just come off a, a live with my beautiful um, Beacon Tribe, my inner circle, Beacons, who are on a year program with me and a year deep dive into all all of these things and I have said to them that meditation is the number one practice in order for you to attract what you want instead of trying to control outcomes right attract what you want instead of trying to control outcomes if you're trying to control things if you're trying to create through controlling rather than attracting because that's who you are then you are just creating more and more and more resistance you are not going to get what you want you're going to create more obstacles get more frustrated get more resentful and all of our body work practices, our emotional work, our mindset work, our energetic work is to help us to meditate, is to help us to drop into that which we are to know ourself, our soul self, our true self. And when we do that, we start to attract more peaceful, more joyful, more easeful life. We start to see things in a different way. We start to cultivate the faith of what is possible. Right? And therefore, we are able to shift our mindset towards a more positive bent. But we may not be able to go straight from A to Z. We may not be able to go straight from that negative thought and spin it to a positive thought and fully believe it and fully inhabit that feeling and know that that is possible for us. We may have to go a little halfway, right? We may just have to go a little bit better than that not so great thought, not so helpful thought. Just a little bit better. We have to be able to receive it and we have to be able to be it and feel it in our whole self. And us human beings get so good at bypassing that and we just think it. But the rest of us isn't on board. So if the rest of you isn't on board, the universe is not going to be on board. The universe is not trying to, you know, test you all the time with all these things. You are just not 100% on board with what you are wanting and what you are feeling and what you are wanting to attract by attracting because you are already feeling that in your body and the universe is just now then catching up you have to get ahead by being that energetically and knowing the nature of your soul self you have to be that and then the world catches up on you you can't jump out ahead and try and control that and try and create that and force that to change if you aren't feeling that already in yourself you attract what you already are you have to be it and then you attract it. And you can, if you're sitting there thinking, well, how can I be that when I'm like stressed with this and this is going on and this is going on where well, you have to, that is the practice of meditation. To be able to sit back in your soul self, in your peace, in your, oh, this is all happening for me and not to me. This is all happening for me and not to me no matter what is going on, and that is the way you can shift things. You can't control it. You can't make it shift. You can't want it better. You have to feel it better, and then you can want it better. But that that want and that feeling, they have to match. You have to believe it. You have to fully be able to expand into it and receive that in your whole body 100%. Yeah? And if you know that there is a, there is a little, like, uh, in your field with that, that you know there's things that you want, but you can't fully believe it, that there's a disparity there. You're not alone. This is part of the human experience, right? You have a lot of things in your physical body from past experiences that have embedded themselves literally physically in different ways in your musculoskeletal system, in your nervous system, and in your belief system that have accumulated over the last 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, however old you are, right? And we can't always just sometimes be that which we want to be, right? We can't just drop into that just like that. We have to do the work on getting more mobility, getting more flexibility, getting more stability in our physical body, in our emotional self, in our energetic self, so that we can really drop into this soul self. We have created a lot of resistance in our body through our own past experiences and through our own beliefs and through the things that we have kind of absorbed of other people's beliefs and systems. So that is why it's a multi-pronged approach to being able to be that which you are, the soul self. But I wanted to really highlight today this, this thing that we can think we are trying to think positively. We can, we can think that we are trying to be out there and create our world, but we're actually just trying to control it. We're actually in resistance to what, what is, and we're just wanting to create something better because we don't want this. And that creates more resistance, more obstacles. If you're getting frustrated and resentful and annoyed and disappointed that you're not where you want to be, 
even though you kind of know some of this stuff, it's because you're not employing it in the way that attracts. Right. So if you are kind of, hmm, yeah, that's making, that's, that's dropping in for me. Yeah, I think I am doing some of that, you know, and you want to understand and really embody and know how to do this in an attracting way and how to release the resistance in your body, in your mind, in your emotion, in your environment. Then there are specific ways and practices that we do this in order that you can feel that soul self and really understand what is going on so that you're not creating more resistance in your world. So if that is something that you would be curious in, then reach out to me because I'm holding half-day intros to this all of the time. I'm just about to jump into a three-day deep dive immersion with my amazing beacons tomorrow, which I'm very excited about that we run throughout the year. Um, and there is, yeah, there's, there is some work to be done around this and this is my niche area. So reach out to me if it's something that you feel like you could do with some extra support in. You can start by just coming along to one of our, our half days where we do some deep dive embodied experience of this. And um, yeah, we have one on Bribey coming up. We have a couple in Brisbane coming up. Yeah, we, we've always got them happening. So you can reach out on that. All right, my lovelies, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon. Take care, everyone.